what's up welcome back to another video and today I am going to be talking about how to tap into the energy of Halloween so Halloween is a holiday that you guys in the Western world in the United States okay because majority of y'all who watch my channel are from where I'm from America and Halloween is a holiday that you guys already probably know is the day where you just go out and you dress up like a scary person or somebody that you're not really um and you are and you you go and you knock on people's door to get candy right and this is the time where people are decorating their houses and all of these different scary stuff they got the autumn pumpkins out and scary movies is like watching scary stuff there's this really big theme around scariness during halloween and this is the time right in this time when you're moving into autumn that we're you know really getting deeper into the autumn season the autumn equinox and this season represents a time of death rebirth okay we're, we're moving into like libra scorpio sagittarius season right and we're coming into a time where the leaves are falling nature is becoming calmer things are getting ready to rest in in winter and this is all very symbolic of what the actual spirit of this land is doing during this time so the spirit of the land is resting is getting ready to rest the energy and the the animals and the fairies and the the spiritual energy of the land is actually literally getting prepared to to rest and this is one of the seasons like spring that's considered a um like a, a, a gateway season so spring and autumn are both these seasons where you know it's not necessarily spring isn't necessarily winter or summer it's in, in between and autumn isn't necessarily summer or winter but it's in between so these are both seasons where the veil becomes thinner but in this season whereas spring the veil is like an opening into life this is this veil is an opening into death is an opening into the underworld the eth the, the the ethereal the the ancestors and so other cultures know and understand this about this time like dia de los muertos um the day of the dead and honestly i don't really know any other culture like cultural holidays around this um specifically but i do know the energy of this time and so this is a time where right around october 28th 29th 31st up until the first of november the veil is extremely thin the ancestors and the spirits of the earth really come up and and walk these are the ancestors of the past that are coming to remind you of what happened to remind you of the good things of the past and the bad things of the past and so the reason why the Western culture here in America that halloween has become or is a holiday where it's about you know being in this kind of state of fear and ooh, scary scary you know the spirits and the the ghosts and the monsters and the all of these imaginary characters sometimes they're you know normally they're all imaginary whether they were in a movie or whatever there are all these imaginary characters whether they're like really real like a actual person who was alive or these fictional beings 
this theme of, of scariness and hauntedness around this energy has everything to do with what has happened here in America and how the spirits of the earth feel about what has happened here in America. And during this time, this is the time where a lot of people, okay, I'm gonna say no names, but a lot of people, specifically uh, people who are or have a, a past lineage of doing some heinous and, um, you know, very disturbing things to the spirits and the ancestors of this land they don't have a very good time during this time all right there's a lot of creepy and scary things that they experience and that's because their conscious their conscious is tainted they know that they have done bad things and it's just like y'all know when y'all you know when your kids or when you do something when you when you were a child when you did something you wasn't supposed to or whenever just being a, a grown person now when you do things that you're not supposed to and you know that your spirit knows that you walk around you start walking around paranoid right when you have a guilty conscience you start walking around ooh, ooh, like thinking somebody is coming to get you because you're 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 walking around guilty like you, you have this weight on you from spiritually right and it doesn't matter if you did it or if your ancestor did it the majority of the reason why people are so scary nowadays during halloween or this this um holiday continues to exist is because the ancestors of these people your ancestry has done things that your consciousness now your genes now remember and not only that that the but the spirits of this planet the spirits of this land that we live on remembers so if you're getting eerie weird scary kinds of feelings during this time it has everything to do with what I'm telling you right now. So the reason why Halloween is the way it is and so full of this scary energy is because the spirit of this land is angry and upset with you, right? The spirit of this land is coming to get you. <laughs> it's coming to get you. No, I'm serious. Like, it's an energy that says you know you will not you will not forget you will not forget how we feel about you right and spirits is they funny so this is the basis for the scary energy that you feel when it comes to the holiday of halloween and how to really tap into the energy of this time right because you don't really want to tap into the energy of halloween I mean, I personally, I don't, I'm not one of those people who's like, I don't celebrate Halloween. It's a devil's holiday, you know, because that's also, you know, on another level of, you know, being resistant to source and what's actually wanting to be channeled during this time. So I still like to, you know, if kids come to the door give them you know some organic treats to eat and um you know i still enjoy the festivities of this time whatever festivity it might be um however if you really want to tap into the energy of this time understand and remember that it is not about being scared so please don't be one of those people who has like so much resistance towards things because they learned some new things about you know about life and now they're like no anti this and it's like no just be relaxed about it like if that's if that's the frequency of of 
you know what's been created then that's the frequency of what's been created and that's the past okay so you don't need to worry about nothing that you already see that's been created in this reality what you always want to be focused on and this is something really a big part of tapping into the energy of this time is you really want to be focused on your energy and how you are connecting to this time and what i suggest when you're connecting to the energy of this time is like i said to get connected to the land and the spirits of the land and what the ancestors are wanting to communicate to you and through you it's a really good time to also channel messages in um you know tap into connecting to the spirit world and spirits that have um you know have passed on or have a really deep message to share with you um about how to transform and how to really uh clear the air of your life and uh triumph and 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 get to where it is that you're going because this season like i said this is the season of a libra scorpio and sagittarius so these three signs are teaching you you know clear the air you know get balanced do some deep diving and heal transform yourself and come out of that transformation ready to go where it is that you're going in life and come out wiser come out you know uh not wounded but healed and with this medicine that you can share with the world you know this is the energy to tap into right now and this is what the spirits of the land and and the energy that's coming up through the land is communicating with us so don't be afraid of this time if you have any karma in your ancestry or um, anything in your own consciousness that makes you really scared during this time or just scared of spirits in general then this is the work that you need to be doing because the only reason that you should be scared, the, the only reason that you would be scared is if you have not dealt with the demons inside of yourself yet. You have not dealt with the demons of your bloodline. You have not dealt with the demons of, you know, who you are, right? And who we are is deeply intertwined with our ancestry and our ancestors. So that's why it's so important to clear karma clear the karma of your ancestors clear the karma of your own consciousness and um also why it's so important that you know if you are a part of a lineage of people that colonialized and and did some really bad things um in the in their lifetime which I would say, I, I mean, everybody's probably related to at least one Looney Tune. If you just have the feeling that you need to do some cleansing and some purging, then this is the time to do it. This, this is the time to connect and um, make peace with the spirit world and remember how important uh, being connected to, you know, your ancestors and the divine during this time is so that's all i had to say on this video if you're interested in signing up for my four day lilith code mini course make sure you hit the link down below it'll get sent straight to your inbox four videos teaching you how to get in touch and evoke your dark feminine energy so if you're interested sign up and i will see you guys in my next video peace